Hey guys, so today I want to talk about the DIY mid-drive conversion kits. I'm only going to be talking about mid-drives just because for a number of reasons. I'm not talking about hub motor kits. Just mid-drives, I want to give you uh, all the different options for 2023 and hopefully for the next, this will be relevant for the next 5-10 years. Mainly I'm going to be talking about Bafang, Tongsheng, and the CYC motors as well as like a couple of the other peripheral brands out there and motors. Okay, so really quick, if you're new to this channel, I'm Johnny Nerdout. I have johnnynerdout.com. I have all the different motors, batteries, custom components that you're going to need to build your own dream e-bike for a fraction of the cost of buying one pre-made. And if you need help, you need one-on-one -on -one consultations, go to johnnynerdout.com. You could book a 10-minute consultation. You could do a Zoom virtual e-bike repair consult with me. Um... Yeah, so head to johnnynerdout.com if you want to help support, you know, a little guy, but somebody who's super passionate uh, about what they do. Let's get right into it. So I'm going to start with the tried and true motor kits, which is Bafang. Bafang has got the BBS-02, the BBS-HD, and their newer M625. They also have their Ultras, but the Bafang Ultras are not, they're not made for the DIY conversion market. They're custom made to fit frames. Um, the M625 is their newer one. Um, it's got some upgraded components. It's very similar to the BBS HD. Uh, it does use like proprietary batteries and they it's under the Smile uh, umbrella. So if you've seen the Smile brand batteries, that's what's used with the M625. When they first launched it, they only had one option. It was like a 20 amp hour battery pack and it was huge. Um, I made a video on it, discussing about it. If you wanna learn more about that motor, check it out here. It is a, an advanced motor compared to the BBS HD or O2. Um, they recently came out with a slim battery pack that will now fit that one. And I carry that one on my website if you're interested in getting that motor kit or if you already have that motor kit, but you wanna get something slimmer to fit inside most triangles, that's now an option, which is nice. But that motor limits you to just those two batteries because it uses that like CAN bus interface where you need to have power and the communication port. So for that, I don't necessarily like I don't like that, but it is a decent motor and it's got a lot of information. Like if you're a data nerd, that's a good motor to have. But for further in depth, check out my review on that motor. Uh, the BBS HD and the BBS 02. The BBS 02 is probably still the best value motor out there. It's cadence sensing. So it's not, it's not the, you know, so is the BBS HD. It's not the best natural feeling like torque sensing senses pressure and then it goes it sends power by pressure cadence is just how fast are you it uses magnets to detect how fast you're pedaling and then it sends power that way so it's not the smartest system but at 450 bucks for a bbs02 or like around 675 bucks for a bbs hd motor those are still probably the best value motors out there and there's tons of support they're easy to get parts if anything breaks, but they're super reliable, so you generally don't need to. And there's tons of aftermarket accessories available for the Bafang because they've been around forever. It's like the Model T. So if you want something that's reliable or you could repair it super fast and easy and get back on the road, absolutely, go Bafang. Uh, BBS 02 if you just want something kind of a little bit more value-oriented. And the BBS HD is if you, I always recommend going with the O2, unless you're going to be putting it on a big fat bike and towing a trailer. If you're a hunter or if you're turning it into like a dirt bike, full suspension bike, and you're just going to be doing full throttle, max, full, pulling maximum amps all the time, then go with the HD. Otherwise, the O2 is it's still a very powerful motor. It's rated at 750 watts, but it puts out 1400 watts. I mean, it's 25 amps times 52 volts and 58.8 volts fully charged. So 58.8 times 25, you do the math. So that's why I still think Bafang, those, the BBS series is going to be a very viable mid drive for the next at least five to 10 years until something comes out that beats them on price and performance. 
Um, the only thing that's cheaper, in my opinion, that's worth looking at is the Tongsheng motor. And that's actually a, a decent motor if you, especially if you want torque sensing. That motor's 400 bucks for a torque sensing mid-drive. It is only 500 watts. Um, they did have different wattage, but I think they got sued from Bafang is what I was told. Um, but now they're back, but it's only in 500 watts. There's there's a decent amount of accessories for the Tongsheng, um, but you can't beat the price for, for the torque sensing mid-drive. It's not built as robust as the Bafang, so I would say reliability, I would give the edge to Bafang. But it's not built as robust, so it's more lightweight. It's like two or three pounds lighter than the BBS-02, and like six or seven pounds lighter than the BBS HD. So if you want absolute rock bottom price and you're not looking for crazy power, you just want something in a natural feeling, Tong Shang's the way to go. Now we've got CYC. They're the wild card. They're like this, they're kind of they're this crazy wild card. They've got some very interesting motors coming out um, and, and that are currently out. I always say CYC, I think, is just, you know, the best motor out there, but it does come with a premium. They've got the Photon, which is their newest one. They've got the Stealth, and they've got the Pro. I've, I've installed a few of them. My biggest complaint about them is that they're loud. However, this Photon is supposed to be quiet. It's supposed to be as quiet as the Bafang BBS series, which are very quiet in my opinion. Usually once you get riding, you don't even hear the motor. You just hear your tires on the ground. But the only thing I, I have noticed that the Stealth and the Pro are kind of loud and noisy. They hear, you hear that, that high RPM motor winding going, which for some people it's kind of annoying. But this Photon supposedly is not gonna be as loud. So we'll find out once I get my hands on it and uh, make a demo. So stay tuned for that. Uh, the Photon, it's going to be $950. I know they're coming out introductory. They're going to be $850. Um, and I am going to be carrying all the CYC motors as well. So if you'd like to support me, that'd be awesome for you and me. Um, so I could keep making content like this. Great thing about CYC is they're cutting edge. They're all torque sensing. So they're, they're all pressure based, which means you don't really need a gear shift sensor. You don't really need brake cutoffs because you just stop pedaling and it's, it stops power. Um, with those cadence sensing, it can be kind of dangerous. You have to have a gear shift sensor on it, in my opinion. But that, that torque sensing is super nice, but it does come with a premium. Like I said, $950 for the Photon. I think the Stealths are like $1,100, and the Pros are even more than that. They're like $1,200 or $1,300, bucks, somewhere around there. Um, but, you know, these are all market price. A lot of that depends on shipping costs and things like that. So uh, check the website to see what the current market prices of all these motors because they're always changing but they're super the, the cyc motors also they have cutting edge uh software that you can use your phone as the you know as essentially as the display and you can program that motor and see all that fine detail those that, that like the wattage that you're putting out that the motor's putting out all that stuff that if you're a nerd like i am you, I don't know what it is, but you have to have it. So if you're somebody who's like, I got to have the best of the best. I don't care what the price is. It's four or 500 more dollars. I don't care. You're going to be wanting to look at the CYC. Also, the CYC uh, generally is a more versatile mounting system. I remember I did a, I did a, an install on a Furla box bike. You just couldn't mount a Bafang on it. We wanted to put a Bafang on it, but the bottom bracket, like the the tube that it was sitting in was so thick that you couldn't slide one in. But the Stealth is super versatile that we were able to mount a, a Stealth on it, no problem. The Photon, I don't think is gonna be as versatile. They do have a little bit more clearance in between the, the, the shaft and the actual motor than the Bafangs, like two more millimeters. So it will be a little bit more versatile, but I, I don't think it's gonna be crazy versatile. Um, but it will be a little bit more which will be nice. So I, in recap of those three motor systems, the Tong Shangs, and I'm gonna talk about some the peripherals, the outside, the fringe motor kits for the DIYs here in a second. But for the most part, 99% of you guys watching this video are looking at the Tong Shang, the Bafang, and the CYCs. Tong Shang, if you're looking for low powered, supernatural feeling, 
and low cost, like you're building it for, you know, maybe your, maybe your spouse that you want to take on rides, but they're a little intimidated by bikes or they're not really quite sure, Tong Chang's the way to go. I, in my opinion, I would say do that. Or maybe go with the BBSO2. If you want to have, you know, matching, you could program the BBSO2 down and then you could get a BBSO2 and then program it, you know, or keep it unlocked so you both have the same motor system so everything's interchangeable. But that, that I would say get the Tong Shang for, you know, for that system if you're not looking for crazy power. BBSO2 is if you just want the best value, uh, best value motor for the dollars, most power, most configurability, um, so many accessories, so easy to repair if you ever need to. BBS HD, I would say, is if you either have a fat bike, like if you need that bigger spindle length, or if you're, you know, I, I have a cargo bike and I like to tow my daughter and trailers and things like that, so I was like, I need a HD on my bike. So I would say go with an HD if you are going to be pushing that thing a lot. The HD is just like an overbuilt version of the O2. Everything on it's a little bit bigger. If you look at the two motors side by side, the HD is just a little bit bigger so it can handle more power without overheating and melting. The CYC, I would say, is for people, and there's three different trims. The Photon, I would say, is if you just want the, the best natural feeling motor, and not a crazy amount, you know, at 950 or 850, however much you're gonna get, it's not a crazy price tag for what you're getting. I think it's a very good value. It's gonna be very, I think, a, I think it's gonna be a very good seller. Um, so if you want torque sensing, programmability, customizability, and it's street legal at 750 watts, Photon is gonna be what you're looking at. If you wanna have more power or you need super flexible mounting, like you got a weird bike like I had on that bike uh, box bike, you're gonna be looking at the Stealth. That'll go up to 2,000 watts. Um, so that's more power than the BBS HD, but it does get a little bit noisier than the BBS HD. And then there's the Pro version, which could go like 3,500 watts, 72 volt. That's the, the, the CYC Pro is, if you're looking to make a motorcycle, you wanna do 50 miles an hour, something not street legal whatsoever, you'd be looking at the Pro. The one, the one knock against CYC, I would say, is that you have to buy everything through CYC. With Bafang, you can't buy anything through Bafang directly, even though there's a lot of people that claim to be directly through Bafang, it's, that's a lie. Um, they only have like, they have a distributorship that you could buy through their distributors which means that if one distributor's out, you could usually find through other distributors. But if CYC's out, you're just out of luck, which might suck if you need a replacement part, if you need like a you know motor part, like a pinion gear or something, and they don't have it. Hopefully somebody on the retail market has it, but it might be difficult. Um, now on the fringe side of the motors, they have like truck run, the Cyclone motor, which often gets confused with the CYC, uh, Cyclone is totally different than CYC. Cyclone, I've made many videos on there. I have a love-hate relationship with it, but I, I've actually discontinued carrying the Cyclone motor, much like almost every other reseller out there, because so many install issues, people having trouble hooking it up, getting it to run correctly, things like that, um, and very little support from Cyclone. So. I, but they're great if you just need brute power and for, for cheap. That thing will handle 4,000 watts for fairly cheap for like 500 bucks or less. And then there's there's motors like the Truck Run, which I would say is more of like a knockoff of the Bafang. I wouldn't really, I, I don't know. I don't have experience with it. I've, I have no desire to have experience with it at this moment just because Bafang is just killing it and it's too similar. Um, there's the Paradox, the Kinetic, uh, Paradox motor, but it's just crazy expensive. That one looks cool. Um, I think it's like 1500 watts. That thing will handle super lightweight retail. It's like over two grand. So uh, at that point, I would just be looking at this <laughs> CYC. I'd be looking at the stealth or the pro. So, um, until they could get their cost down, um, I wouldn't really be looking at them, unfortunately either. So that pretty much is the roundup of motors that you should be looking at. Uh, hopefully that helps you guys make a better informed decision. And again, if you want more one-on-one -on -one 
like a consultation. I do 10 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. Um, we could do video Zoom calls to really help dial in exactly what you need for your build. I'll help you save hours of doing research. I'll save you hundreds of dollars of buying the wrong stuff. Book a 10 minute consultation um, and they're, they're fun. I, I, I love doing these consultations. So, all right. Thanks guys. Have a good one.